Good morning, everybody. We are going to be hearing about the excretory system today. So um, this is also called often the urinary system, uh, which um, handles how your body stores and then gets rid of urine in your body, which is for very good reasons, the reasons that um, your body needs to do that. So we talked about the digestive system on Monday. Um, the digestive system helps you break down food specifically. So it involves saliva glands or sal salivary glands that make your food soft so that it's able to pass through, uh, pass through the esophagus. Then once it passes through the esophagus, it goes down to the liver and it's got the acids to break it up and um, your food gets separated into things that are digestible versus things that are undigestible. So um, the digestible uh, nutrients that your body needs um, goes all throughout your body from uh, because of blood. Blood carries all of that, all of those nutrients throughout your body. We learned about the large and small intestine. Now the digestive system is also what handles getting rid of waste uh, through a poop that is not digestible and your body does not need. So we're gonna to talk today about the excretory system, which is the urinary system, but it's also um, what handles your body's sweat because you need to have sweat to be, able to, to be able to have a good balance of water and salt in your body. That's what we're gonna get into today. Now the digestive system removes the body's solid wastes. Other wastes are removed by the excretory system. There's other things that your body needs to get rid of other than solid wastes. Now the excretory system also helps keep the right amount of water and salts in the body. You gotta have that right balance of water and salt. Um, now some main parts of the excretory system are the liver, the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and skin. Now, ammonia is a waste that comes from some of the jobs that cells do. Uh, so ammonia is that waste. The liver changes ammonia um, in the blood into urea. Now, urea is less harmful than ammonia. The kidneys, so the liver changes it to urea, which actually uh, is not as bad for your body. And then the kidneys are organs that take urea and water out of the blood and turn them into urine. So it takes that waste, combines it with water, and turns into urine from the kidneys right here. Then these little tubes called uh, ureters carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. And that's where your urine sits until it's time to go to the bathroom um, or until it's time to leave the body. Now some wastes leave your body through your skin. That's sweat when you have wastes leaving the, um, the body through skin. Sweat glands make sweat from water, salts, and other wastes. So what are two ways that waste can leave your body? Well, in this system, through urine and also through sweat. Uh, but with the digestive system, we heard about solid wastes also leaving your body. That's important too. So we've got, but the excretory system involves urine and sweat. Okay. So let me take one more look at the system here. So we've got the kidneys that are changing it into urine, and then the urine travels down and sits in the bladder until you are ready to use the restroom. And the circulatory system is connected to the excretory system as well because um, it's all connected to wastes from the, um, your cells and the blood carrying nutrients everywhere. Okay, that's all for today. I've got one other little short video that will be um, very informative, I believe, as well. And I'll talk to you all later. Later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.